Hey guys, it is Walt here from the Vault Pro Scooters, and today we are doing a custom build. It's not like a really crazy one. It's just something I've always wanted, I not always wanted to do, but just thought about doing. So recently, Little Peep, like my favorite rapper died, and I thought about doing a custom build like in memorial for him. If you guys know who he is, if you don't, check him out. But uh, his hair was always black and pink, so I'm gonna go off of that. Boom. So I'll put the pink right there. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep all my stuff like here until like we teleport uh, across the street to build this scooter. So this should stay out of the way and not get stolen. Sweet. All right, start pulling the parts. So we just got these drone decks in today and I I saw them and I was like, I'm gonna use them. I even asked Austin. I was like, can I use these before you put them on the site? He said, yeah. Hey Andre, y'all know him. He's back. Matt Black in 22 or just a black in 22. 22, the big boy? Yes, sir. Right here. The big John. Perfect. So we got a black deck. I mean, as you guys know, he was like a straight goth boy. So everything's black, but his hair was always like black and pink. So I'm doing the whole scooter off of that. And since we're back here, Scoot Warehouse Grips comes with one black, one pink. Like this build is meant for itself. I want to use the new Elite Profile for it because it's matte black and I think it'll look good. Headset. Ah, uh, you know what headset we just got in? Boom. The Vault Velocity headset. All right, uh, what bars? Urban Art Primo bars, the new ones. We just got them in, actually. Oh, I think they're right there. Oversized. <laughs> oversized, oversized, oversized. <laughs> I really don't know where these are. All right, guys, so I'm gonna call Wyatt. This usually helps. Sash. So he told you guys, you say Sesh and Wyatt will show up. You say it at home, he'll be he'll be there at your door. Do you know where the uh, Primo Evo bars are in standard black? So they're over there. Told you, you just say Sesh, it'll, he'll come. I got it, don't worry. Uh, 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 what's the word? Sesh. Uh, Thanks. Hey, these are chrome, I need a black. Shut up. <laughs> All right, later. Later, thanks. And White goes back to his tunnels. All right, uh, let's see here. Am I missing anything? Wheels. Hey, Ruben, what kind of wheel should I use? No. What color scheme are you going for? Basically all black. You're supposed to say AO wheels. Uh, AO helium 125? There it is. We're using those. These are sick. Ruben rides for AO, if you don't know. And you've been riding these wheels. You like them? Yeah, those wheels are good. Nice. It just got released too. That's why we're using them. All right, guys. So I finally pulled everything. Let's go across the street and build it because it is too crazy here to build today. And uh, yep, I will see you there. Whoa, we're back. Transporting, you know, going through the time warps and all. That's a little crazy from what I remember. I haven't done that in a while. I just realized I forgot to grab a clamp. I'm looking at everything here and I'm like, what's missing? The clamp's missing. So you guys wait right there. Take this brief, brief second to go to the restroom, wash your hands, get some water. I'll be right back. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Hope you guys are all settled in and ready to watch me build this scooter in a nick of time. Phoenix SCS clamp, the black one, a smooth black one. It's, uh, it's not glossy, it's not too like shiny. It's pretty much matte like the rest of the parts I used. So right here, these are the Primo Evo bars. Uh, we just got these back in stock. They are like a matte black bar. They're standard. They come, all right, I paused so I can grab this. Let me actually measure how wide they come. Sheesh, these are 25 tall, oh, wide. Wow, that's pretty wide for some T-bars. And let's see here, 28 tall. This is the new Elite Profile fork. It's super sick. Smooth, I actually really like this fork a lot. And then it uses the M8 compression bolt, so it's not the standard size five anymore. The new AO helium wheels. We got the grip tape, they're both flick, it's the same thing. I cut it in half. Yes, there's other grip tape. I'm not gonna throw it away, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm personally gonna use it and keep it, put it on my scooter so uh, I can match this custom build. I'm gonna buy these too, today. Maybe, depends. All right, the Vault Velocity headset. We know a lot of you guys love the Vault Velocity bearings. So we decided to make a headset, give it a go. Bam, here it is. It's just a standard headset, of course. You got your crown race. We actually don't need that with this fork. You got the compression, like crown race, it goes on the top. You got a star nut, just in case you are running either ICS, it might not fit, but if you don't have one in your fork, we don't need that. This is just a standard bolt for average forks, but this fork uses a bigger one, so we don't need that. So we have the vault right here logo on the top cap. This is actually my idea. Ephraim was showing me, the guy who created this. Ephraim is the general manager. He showed me this and I was like, that's super sick. 
And then it, this was black, but I was like, we should put a TV logo, like the legit logo. So when you tighten your SES and when you look inside, you see the vault logo and now it's stuck. But yeah, that's the headset. This thing's so nice. I'm hyped on how this came out. It is 128. We got this deck at like 12 o'clock. So we literally just got it. And as soon as we got it, I was like, oh, custom build using it. It is 22 long by five wide. It has square dropouts. This thing is a beauty. Enough of all that, let's start building this. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna take the break off so this comes out extremely perfect. So I don't wanna have to like cut the break, cut around it, nah. Little Peep, like a lot of people don't like his music. Personally, I do. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I really connect with his music and like, I don't know, it's just something about him. Like, I was truly heartbroken when I found out like he had passed away. I had to call my good friend uh, Tanner, who's kind of like friends with like the group of people he was with to like verify that everything was true because like, I just couldn't believe it. I was lucky enough, I was able to see him live twice. I went to both L his LA shows. That's actually how I got this sweater. It was from like the Come Over When You're Sober tour and I dropped my Allen wrench. But yeah, you guys should definitely like check out his music. I mean, it's not for everybody, but like personally, I love it. If I had to pick a favorite song, I mean, I get asked this question 24 seven, what my favorite song is by him. I honestly tell everybody all of them. Like, it's just like, I don't know. There's just so many, but I really like Little Kennedy. There's something about that song I really like. I mean, all of his songs I like. Sheesh, this is too many. Let me just start gripping this deck. I wanna make sure this comes out as perfect as I can get it. So I'm gonna move all these beautiful parts to the side, the hardware, everything. Perfect, all right, let's start doing this. But yeah, I've actually been wanting to do a, a, a scooter off little peep, like just like to do a, a, a long time. I just never got around to it. But since like now he's passed away and everything, I just thought it'd be dope to do like a tribute video for him. It's right on it. Now, a lot of people, for I just thought of this, a lot of people will be like, oh, Peep Game, like, is that little Peep? No, it's not. Peep Game's actually a streetwear company that like the homie owns and like I just back and always wear just cause it's like super sick. So I just wanna let you guys know that for now. Shout out to all the kids who like legit reached out to me when, as soon as he passed, like letting me know and like asking if I was all good. Like I truly appreciate all you guys. I'm like love every single one of you. And if you have like a favorite little peep song, if you like them, let me know in the comments below. Cause I, I do read them all. Trust me, you guys may not think I do. You're like, oh, he just says that. But no, I legit do. You know what I always find crazy, James? It's like, you never know. Like when you see somebody, you never know when's the, that, that, that could be the last time you ever see them. It's so crazy. Cause like when I saw him live, like the last time I was like sick, I can't wait for his next show. And like, I was thinking about it last night. Like you really never know. Cause like I've seen all these other people like lie, like all these other rappers, like multiple times. It's like, it's just crazy. Look at that. I love it. It came out so sick. All right guys, I had to get some grease because you always want to grease your bolts. All right, let's put this back wheel on. <laughs> it rubs right there. Not a custom build if you don't have some problems. All right guys, so like after about 15 minutes of trying, I was under the impression that this deck runs 120 millimeter wheels. It necessarily does, you just can't run a brake. And that's what we're about to do. Because the brake it comes with, you can only run 110s. Maybe it's just for now, maybe they're gonna change it. If they do, if you're watching this drone, please change it. I'll put that to the side. If you're running, if you wanted to run a Chetty, I even tried that too. It won't work. I mean, the Chetty you could obviously put on here, that works fine, but it's still only 110. If you guys have ever seen Little Peep's The Bright Side video, his jacket he's wearing is all patchy and like, I don't wanna just leave these holes here. So I'm just gonna put some brake bolts in it just to fill in the hole so it looks pretty good. And uh, these wheels right here, the AO wheels, these actually do come in 110. So you can actually use those and put the brake on or a Chetty, it'll be the same thing. Personally, I just really wanted to use 120, so I'm still gonna use them. I ain't gonna let that stop me. Put this last bolt in. Go ahead and finish this scooter six hours later. I gotta pack some orders. Look at the space. Like, it doesn't make sense why a, a, what, a brake wouldn't fit and run 120s on this. I think it's just the holes need to be up more. It's got the clearance. It actually looks pretty good without a brake. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go to the front end. All right, I got a little itch there. We do need the shim. 
I know when we don't need it, I, I always throw them, but today we need it. Damn, do I need a headset spacer? I do. Put this good old Velocity headset thing around there. I want it to say it like that. Let's do, ooh, let's do it like this. Nah. The Velocity in front. I need to cut my nails. We need like a small headset spacer. Let me get one. Oh, it's perfect. Add some grease to this because definitely gonna need it. That's pretty nice. The so Velocity has it's dope. I can't wait to get one. I'm gonna boom gang one. I ain't buying it. I'm boom ganging it. I think my favorite thing besides, I mean, my grip tape on this so far is one of my favorite things. But like, other than that, I love how everything's matte black. Haha. <laughs> Thing's sick. It's actually not that heavy either. You guys are probably gonna want to skip through this. You don't want to see me grease every bolt. So we'll go ahead and start the time lapse now. And we're back. Look at that. This thing is a beauty. But before I put the bars on, I gotta install the grips. I mean, that would have been dumb. I think that was the fastest thing I did all day. I was gonna put ODI barns in here, like a pink one and a black one, but we were out of black and it would've just looked funny having one ODI one and some other random black one. So it didn't work. If you guys are wondering like, why didn't he use a pink barn? We had the pink ones, didn't have the black ones. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, the moment you guys, no, that's the dialed part when you guys are like waiting to hear if it sounds good or not. It's the part I wait for. Will you look at that? Damn, this thing's so sick. Wow. There you have it. Now the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's go make sure this thing sounds dialed for you guys because if it doesn't, then I'm not gonna hear it from you guys. I'm not gonna hear the end of it from you guys. That sounds better. So let's go check. There you have it. That thing sounded dialed. Like, it sounded perfect to me. Just like little Peep in his music. Rest in peace. I actually really like the way this came out. The grip tape came out perfect to me. The grips on the scooter make this thing match really well. Like everything overall is just such matte black and has a perfect like finish. The only small little problem, I mean, you guys think custom builds are perfect. They go through smoothly. They don't always like today. Like I thought this worked with the 120s. It doesn't, but it's okay. You guys still get the brake and all the extra stuff that comes with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see anything else like this, we're not really like this, but just any theme custom builds by anybody's anything specific, let us know. Uh, we check them out, everything. So yeah, so thanks again. You guys have a great night and make sure you like and subscribe.